Spare parts for your boat. Well, we've got our Riviera Owners Group, great sanding straights event coming up. So it's time to start thinking about what we're going to need. Well, we're going to be at least 60 nautical miles off the coast and away for 10 days. So I think we should go in the engine room and go through a bit of a list. We'll start with impellers, gen set first. Well, how do you know which impeller to buy? Onan have been kind enough to supply us on the front here, it says raw water impeller and a serial number. Just take that to your agent, you won't have a problem. The other thing is, how do you change it? Well, below you'll find a bit of a link to straight to impeller changing. Main engines. Well, you're going to have to get some numbers. Without these numbers, you're not going to get the right parts. So first of all, you're going to need your model number, your serial number, and your arrangement number especially. It'll be on the block somewhere, so it's just a matter of having a look around. This one was quite easy to find on the side. So don't forget your belts on your alt nose. They're important. They're going to keep the charge and all your batteries while you're steaming. As well, you're going to need that arrangement number to find out which belts you need. If anything's going to stop you, it's fuel filters. Nothing worse than blocked fuel filters and you've got no spares. Well, these are easy to identify on your engine. These ones are labelled. And good tip here, also dated when they were changed. There's also a Raycor filter at the back we'll have to have a look at. This is the other fuel filter on your boat. This is the most important fuel filter. It's your first line defence from your tank to your engine. It's also a water trap that allows the water to be caught in the bottom here. It's easy to get the filters for it. Here's the numbers. No problems. Fluids, well as old saying, if it comes out, you've got to put it back in. So make sure you've got some on board. If you want some coolant, you need some engine oil, you need some transmission fluid, as well, you need steering fluid. And of course, if it's a bit notchy, check the link below and I'll show you how to top it up. Not long to go now to our favourite trip of the year. It's going to be a big one, so get down your engine room, have a really good look around. Turn things on and off, check your bilge pumps, make sure your fluids are right, and next week I'll lay out a heap of stuff on a bench and we'll have a big old chat about that. So safe boating and I'll see you next time.